Good afternoon. We have a rain coming in. You'll hear the wind. I just heard thunder. But I've been, uh, last few days, I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not really a crybaby. I tend to be one that sucks it up probably to my own detriment, but uh, I just feel like in the last few days, it's just on a verge of tears sometimes, and I've allowed myself to cry a few times because I think, well, better to get it out than to hold it in. But I was just wondering if any of you have been feeling that way or... I mean, there's no shame. We're human. Listen to that. I don't know if y'all can hear it. But, um... The thunder. But I was wondering if it was just me. Hell, it could be just a female thing. <laughs> you know. Not to get too personal, but... I was just wondering with everything going on... If, uh, if anybody was having the same feelings. Because it's a little unusual for me. Um, anyway. The world is, uh, a little bit nuts right now. The state has mandated masks. And now you know. Now, you already know how I feel about that. So we have masks mandated. Um, bars are being shut down again. Restaurants shut down for a little bit again. And now some might be reopening again. I don't know. Uh, major retail stores like New York and Company are uh, filing lawsuit. Um... I'm sure there are many others. Um, but the dominoes are starting to fall. And July 31st is coming up. So the little extra $600 a week. People have been collecting. It's going to come to a halt. Um, for many, there won't be any jobs to go back to. Um, we're still holding it phase two, so things are really going to start crumbling unless something happens that can change this. And it would require somebody in power standing up and saying, uh, no, 80% of the population is going to have to pull through this and push through this. And everybody's going to go back to work and people are going to, kids are going to go back to school because it doesn't seem to affect them. Um, I mean, only on very rare cases, which that can happen with any disease. Uh, and we got to push through this. And the other 20% of you who are either afraid, have comorbidities, elderly, etc., are going to have to just hunker down until we can push through. I don't... I don't know. Oh, the raindrops are huge. Oh. Can you hear them? They're big. Y'all are going to laugh. I do have a tub out here in my backyard because I'm going to take it to the camp. And I'm going to make an outdoor shower. At this point, I just might make one in my backyard. Why restrict myself? Who knows what tomorrow brings, right? <laughs> anyway, that would be awesome to have an outdoor shower in my mind. So, I might build one in my backyard. Hell, I hadn't even thought of that. Now oh, there's an idea. Forget the camp. But there's the rain coming. 
No hummingbirds, but we've been seeing them off and on lately. But anyway. Y'all have a great afternoon and hang in there. And let me know how you're feeling. I mean, are you feeling a little overwhelmed or you don't know exactly why you're upset, but you're upset or, um, I don't know. Just let me know what you're thinking or where you think it comes from or whatever. Uh, I think a lot of mine has to do with my children. If I get down to the core of it, my children, God, I worry. And there's nothing I can do except do the best I can to try and protect them. And as things go on, it's not going to be that easy, probably. And that's the scary part. But anyway my children if it was just me I'd be like oh well you know okay but my children yeah I worry for everybody's children honestly I wouldn't have stayed in teaching as long as I had if it wasn't for the children and I finally got out because of the adults and that's as honest as I can be. I will uh, talk to y'all later. And hopefully I'll be a little bit more peppy. But um, just sharing. Bye for now.